Hi guys and another video by Mtech Pro. Four months after launching the Pixel 4, Google is hard at work on the next generation Pixel 5. It isn't expected to debut for another eight months, but today front page tech frontman John Prosser, not to be confused with John Prosser or John Posner, has revealed what the larger flagship look like, which comes from an extremely reliable source is based on three DCAD files for one of three early prototypes. Google typically has several teams working on separate designs before deciding on the final one in April or May, which means this particular model could still be scrapped. The new design looks rather odd, to say the least, but ultimately represents a more unique direction for the company. It has also allowed Google to incorporate an extra sensor, bringing the total number of cameras to three this year. If Google chooses to move ahead with this particular design it would represent yet another drastic change. Gone is the square-shaped camera module of the Google Pixel 4 series, and in its place is a humongous camera bump that sits in the middle of the phone and looks like nothing we've ever seen before. Much like the recently announced Samsung Galaxy S20 lineup, both the Google Pixel 5 and Pixel 5 XL are expected to feature Qualcomm's high-end Snapdragon 865. The amount of storage and RAM Google is planning to include is yet to be confirmed, but a minimum 8 RAM and 128GB configuration does seem likely. Google's next generation flagships will also feature support for 5G networks. Despite today's early leak, the Google Pixel 5 XL isn't expected to go official until mid-October. It will be joined by the smaller Google Pixel 5 and will, of course, Follow the cheaper Pixel 4a series which is on track to debut at Google Input Output 2020 in early May. Pre-orders will probably begin immediately after the announcement event and precede shipments somewhere between October 19th and October 23rd, if history is anything to go by. Of course, the internet giant could surprise us all by moving up its flagship announcement in an attempt to steal sales from Apple and Samsung. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget like and subscribe, share if you liked.